the capacity to see all living beings with equal vision. That is not an easy thing in this world where there's so much diversity. Success, failure, honor, dishonor, pleasure, pain. How do we see those with equal vision? Youth, old age, and what to speak of people, people who are cruel, people who are truly compassionate, people of different nationalities, different castes, races, sexes, religions, or even species. How to see the Queen of England and a frog with equal vision. Obviously there's diversity. But Bhagavad Gita is giving this understanding that true enlightenment means we see all beings with equal vision. A handicapped child and an Olympic gold medalist. On the bodily concept, or even on the mental concept, they're not equal. And if we are on the bodily concept and mental conception, we cannot see equality. But on the spiritual platform, yet getva na punarmoham evam yashashi pandapahi, yena bhutan yashashani draksas yatman yatomai. People like to speak about truth, relative truth, absolute truth. But for one who actually knows the truth, they know that all living beings are a part of the same God. We are of the same spiritual substance. That our spiritual nature may be in a dormant state. But as it awakens within ourselves, we can perceive it, we could appreciate it, we could respect it, we could unconditionally love that nature that's dormant in everyone. And then we know the greatest compassion, the greatest service, the most fulfilling purpose of life is to help people awaken that dormant propensity.